So to check if number divisible by, by three, you add digits, right? So it will be five, oh, yeah. five three plus two plus two. What do we get? We get, um, right? And a, 12, oh yeah. 12 is divisible by three and therefore 5,322 is divisible by three. Can so, I try another one, please? Okay. <laughs> We're at sixteen thousand three hundred thirty two by three. What by Six three? Or no, sixteen thousand three hundred thirty two. Is it divisible by three or another number? Is it is it divisible by three? Let me see. Um. Seven, yeah. Yeah. So it's seven, ten, thirteen, fifteen. Yeah. Okay. So what? Why? Why do we need it? So when we do we deal with fractions, right? Yeah. Fractions we always need to simplify. So how how yeah. this uh, how this knowledge will help us with fractions? So because we have fifteen times. Uh, 5 over 12, right? And we remember that 15, we can write integer as a fraction. And now we have multiplication of two fractions, right? So what you do, if you try to simplify your fractions before you multiply, because what you did before, so you multiplied and you've got 75 over 12, so you deal with bigger numbers, right? And it's harder to see, uh, see to find common factor between uh, numerator and denominator. So what you do, you do it at the beginning, right? So we know that we can simplify fraction itself. And we, when we multiply, we can do cross simplification. So you can simplify like this, right? Across. And we see that 15 and 12 is both multiples of three. three. So we can simplify right there. Which then. is five fourths. So it will be five over one uh, here, right? And here we'll have five over four. And you multiply and you get your 25 over four, what you, you've got the correct answer, but um, here you deal with smaller numbers. So right now we're dealing with small numbers, so it's not that hard, but you have, with, in higher grades, you have bigger numbers, and in grade 11, you have rational expressions. So it's, it's equations in the form of fractions. And to know this rule, or oh, it's not a rule, it's a habit. So you should develop this habit to simplify fractions before you multiply them, okay? Because it will help you in grade 11. So get try to get used to it. Okay, so we're done here, right? Um, yeah, that page.